scientific notation with positive exponent. We're asked to write 578 in scientific notation. And first of all, scientific notation, we should have one digit to the left of the decimal point. And then we could have others to the right. And in order to put the decimal place in the right spot, we would have times 10 being raised to some power. So this is what our scientific notation should look like. The first digit here, it's important to notice that is anything other than zero. So this one is not zero. Well, when we're looking at our number 578, if we're trying to put it in scientific notation to make it look like our format here, the decimal would have to go behind the first non-zero number, like here. So I would have to move that decimal from where it is, I would have to move it two spots to put it behind the first digit. So that would make it 5.78. And then we would have times 10. We have to figure out what power to raise the 10 to. And since I moved the decimal two places, that becomes our exponent. So 5.78 times 10 to the second. For this, since we're just dealing with positive exponents, it's important to notice that 578 is a large number, fairly large number. So that's why in scientific notation, it gets a positive exponent. That'll be important later on when we look at negative exponents. One more example though, sometimes we may be asked to take something that's already in scientific notation and write it in standard form. So we're doing the opposite. Since it has a positive exponent here, six, this is gonna be a pretty large number. Again, positive exponents in scientific notation represent large numbers. So I know I'm gonna to have to move that decimal place six times. The question is which way? Well, since it's a positive exponent and that means large numbers, if I'm gonna move this decimal and make that a large number, I would be moving it to the right. So 6.85, I would move that decimal to the right and the exponent tells me how many times to move it. It says to move it six times and even though I only have two places behind the decimal, I'm still gonna move it six times. And I'm just gonna have to fill in those gaps with zeros. So that would put the decimal all the way from the front here, all the way to the back. So my new number is 685 and then one, two, three, four zeros, putting in the commas for place value, 6,850,000. So again, a positive exponent should give us a large number.